Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel. And as you can see, we're on the main farm of my Jewel's Peaceful Valley map. And this is the Sheep Big Barn or the Sheep Barn Big. And as you can see, this is where I have it. And if you want to add the Sheep Barn with, that you can purchase sheep in game uh, for your main farm or wherever, wherever you put it, uh this is the tutorial that's going to show you how to do that if you haven't already seen i have a cow tutorial how to get the cow one in we did that one up there and we also did the pig one which is right there so we're working on sheep now this is my main farm area if you're new to the channel there's a shed we did if you want to learn how to do that go look in the channel and there's the barn we did you can go see that on the channel uh, i haven't done the chicken coop yet or pen yet but we'll get to that we're gonna work on this and then this will be the horse over here and i also have a video of doing this uh bga bunker so watch that if you want to learn that so we're going to get started uh if you don't already have the building i'm going to show you that real quick but i appreciate everybody go ahead and hit file import you need to go to wherever you put your game at mine's on d drive yours might be on c drive and again you would go through program files double click and then hopefully if yours is on steam you can take this path i'm not really sure where yours is what you have it on so you'd have to find it and then mine is on steam then you go to steam apps right here double clicking all these common double click and then you can see farming simulator 19 is on c for me so you double click that then you would go to data and so on okay but they don't have what we need in here and we're going to go to D drive. So basically, you would go to Steam Library if, if you have it in here. And you would go to Steam Apps, double click, common, double click. And then here's Farming Sim 22, double click, data, double click. And then in, in this case, you go to Placeables. And then you go to Rudolph Horman. And you would double click and then open it up. And then you can find which one you want. And in this case, we have the sheep big barn or barn big as they would put it let's find the sheep barn big here it is and you would uh, double click that to open it you would click on the i3d of the sheep barn big to highlight it it will pop it in this file name box you would click open it'll bring it in once it brings it in give it a second let it do it finish up if it's buffering or anything and you're going to hit Control b as in boy left mouse click left mouse click and put it wherever in the world you want to put it and make sure it's highlighted here like so and then you can left mouse click it make sure you I, I didn't quite hit that left mouse button good all right so that finalized it as you see and obviously this isn't a good spot but you would make the ground however you want to do it okay if you haven't learned that you need to go back look at the uh, playlist and find the sculpt mode uh, how to do that on my channel and basically you would adjust your building however you see fit and in this case i've got this one adjusted already to where i want it making sure that the inside don't have grass in it or any ground that's all good it's low enough uh to match where you would get up on there pretty much i mean it's right there it's not that much off the ground so i think that's good enough and these are right on the ground pretty much so as you can see so you would set it up and once you get it exactly where you want it you're going to put it in the placeholders folder you're going to take your middle mouse button click on it on the highlighted part in the scene graph where it says sheep barn big and you're going to drag it to placeholders now i'm not going to do that building because that's not my building i'm going to grab this building we're going to delete this last building Make sure you go up to the, the last, uh, the main parent group to delete. If you have to delete something, make sure you get the parent. And if I'm wanting the, this whole building deleted. So I'm going to hit delete. And I'm going to click on mine that's ready. And I'm going to roll up. And I'm going to click on where it's the parent group. I'm going to close the parent. And click on the sheep barn big. That means I got the whole thing as you can see. Now can hit the middle mouse button and drag it down to placeholders and let go. And now you can see it's in here, as you can see. Now, that's I only only do that 
Well, you can do it before, but I like to do it after because then I know I've finalized it and then I put it in there. It's like a process kind of thing. I mean, you could move it in there, but, you know, it's best to have a sort of order to what you're doing. But anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and we need to go in the game to get the information we need to put in the XML. So for now, you can hit save. Okay. And then go in the game and you're going to find this building and put it in the uh, in the map. You should already have your map in the mods folder, obviously, if you're going to put it on your map. Uh, you can put it on any map. You don't have to have your map that you're putting it on. You can put it on any map, get the information, and still put it in your map. You just need the information. So we're going to go on in game. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I appreciate everybody. Go ahead and smash that like button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Subscribe to the channel if the channel helps you and you like it. We're going to go on and jump in and I'm going to go to the 15th slot. Continue, continue, go to map US and start. That's the map I'm working on in this case. And you're just going to load it up. Make sure you remember which save game that you went in because you're going to need to know that. So write it down if you don't think you'll remember. And we'll just wait a minute for this to load up. But appreciate everybody. I've been trying to make some sub subscriber videos, of some comments uh, to help people out. And I've noticed it's been helping some people. So I'm glad that you were able to fix your problem of different things and able to get your stuff working. So that's good. And I try to do that. Uh, to answer questions in between me making my other videos. Uh, still got a lot of stuff I've got coming. I'm just trying to get some of those questions answered and make some videos to help them to understand it better. It's sometimes hard to understand what someone types back to you or maybe you don't understand the, the Giants editor yet and you don't really know what all that means. It's easier to watch somebody do it. So that's why I'm trying to get some of those subscriber videos done. But we're just waiting on it to load. It's it's getting there. I hadn't opened it today, so that's why it's taking a minute. Hopefully it hurries. Slowpoke. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. There we go. Now, there's the cow barn, as you can see. We already have it in there, and it's, it works. Uh, you can check that out on, on the channel. Now, I'm going to run on over here. We're not finished with the map, obviously. I'm at, it's work, I'm working on it. We're going to go over here a little bit. We don't have to go all the way over there. Um, now, it. I want to show you something. You notice that building's gone? Okay, that's the barn. That's the horse thing, ain't it? So the building is supposed to be here. The sheep barn. So since I put it in the placeholders folder, it's not there, as you can see. But... When we finish the uh, adding the information to the placeholders XML, even though that building's in placeholders folder, uh, it's going to show up. Even though it's in placeholders folder now, you don't see it, right? Well, when we go put it in the XML file and we still leave the building in the placeholders folder, it's going to show up because it's going to call from the XML. It's a good example for you to see that it's not there right now. But we're going to put the building anywhere just to, to buy it. We're going to have to go get some money. So go borrow some money. Try not to be too loud with the keyboard. I'm not sure how much it is. Just get a bunch. And then you don't got to go back and forth. Some of them's pretty expensive. I don't think it'll be that much, but we'll, we'll see. Get a little more. All right. Hit escape. Hit P on the keyboard, as in Peter. Hit these three lines. Hit construction. Double click it, hit animals, sheep, and it should be this one. It says sheep barn large, so it should be it. If that's not it, we'll have to come back. Yeah, that looks like it. 97 wasn't too expensive, and we'll drag it out, find out where we can put it, which will be here or over here. It don't really matter. We're just getting information. Go ahead and hit escape. Hit escape. And as you can see, it's here. 
but all you need is information and this will give you a good idea kind of what it's going to look like where everything's going to be these doors work so once you do your xml it should work then you'll have your sheep here when you buy them and all these open i don't think some of the other ones do sometimes if it's low it's hard to get in there but as you can see you can get in there and run on over here real quick got that area got this so there you go that's how it's going to be so we're going to go ahead and escape we're going to hit on here and hit save all we needed is the building do not buy any animals or you will have that in the code or the xml or whatever you want to call it uh whenever you copy it it'll already have animals bought and stuff and if you want the player to buy the animals when they get in game you don't want that information there so don't go on and buy animals in there just because you got in there and you want to test it you don't need to test the in game it it works right now so just leave it like it is go to your file explorer and just pick an area and so i'm going to go to documents my games farm sim 22 and then you're going to go to the uh save game which mine's 15 you go to the one you picked and put your stuff in open it up double click on it and then go to placeables highlight it then right click on it hit edit with notepad plus plus go down to the bottom and you should be pretty close to seeing your sheep looks like they might there it is right there on the bottom usually it's on the bottom when you put something new in there so we're going to go ahead and click at the end of this place place of uh, placeable line it's got this forward slash you're going to leave the bottom one we don't need that one we have a closed um, placeables in our file so we don't need that one click at the end of this one left click hold it down go up to this line here right over here in this corner let go and it's going to have this uh oops i went too high see now that's something you got to watch out for so click back down here redo it you're going to only get the sheep okay not the bunker i already got it okay so now we're going to right click on here on this highlighted area and hit copy then left mouse click here and we're going to get out of here now it looks like we're going to have to change the id number because it's one of the same ones i have but you may not yours may be different so you're going to x out of this okay and minimize that because we're not have it opened it yet you're going to click on farm simulator 22 up here or go back through the whole thing to your map go documents you know my games etc get all the way back to your map but in this case i'm going to go to farming simulator mod double click and there's my map double click and then in my case it's in the xml file double click and there's my placeables xml but if yours is not in there and it looks something like this then you go to wherever your map is and you go through and go through maps maps us and then you'll find your placeables probably in here okay just wherever your placeables xml file is which is in this case is here see so we're just going to go to that and we're going to highlight it and then right click on it and edit with notepad plus plus we're going to come to the bottom in this case we're going to leave the bunker silo on the bottom but if you if you were just working in order and you didn't really care didn't want to keep it organized you can just stick it right here at the end and hit enter and it'll drop it down a line and you can put it there but i'm going to go up above this one I'm going to click it at the end of this placeable line, the one with the line, the closing line, and I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to right click it right at the beginning over here and hit paste. That paste in that information we copied. Now we have our sheep barn, big barn, or barn big dot XML in here. And we need to look and see about the ID. See, we have a nine. There's a nine. There's a nine. Roll up. Let's see what other numbers we got. Two. 11 5 okay so we got to name it something else so we're gonna just change it i'm gonna just go up higher and call it 13 it really don't matter to me all right you can just delete it supposedly without any issues i don't even see the need to do that at this point uh but it, it will be a problem if you both ids are the same so make sure you do that now as you can see there is no spot showing that you have an animal 
or that you bought one but if you did it would look like this see so that's why I said you don't want that in there if you want people to buy it there on their own because it's going to go on and put you in that step that code is going to say hey you already got an animal you know whatever else is here so whatever else you did or allowed so that's why we didn't buy anything we left it a blank building and just bought it saved it got out that makes sense all right and then make sure that this is all has its new starting placeable and then it closes here you basically can click on it and see if it worked so then you can click on this one and them two highlight and that helps you know where it needs to be between don't stick anything in between stuff like grabbing that and sticking it all right between here unless it's supposed to go there because it'll mess stuff up all right so now we're going to slide over here roll up we needed to grab this default farm property true highlight it up to there you don't have to get the little end piece right click click copy and then you're going to come down and find the pig one i mean the sheep we're working on sheep sheep one and we're going to click on this right at the end we, we did it in front of it because we didn't grab that piece so we're going to click here right click there and hit left click and then hit paste and click right there in between this d and this uh quotation and hit spacebar once and look at this and see if it's just one that's good everything's good now we're going to hit save for now you don't necessarily have to because you're just going to grab some more information but you can hit save up there and scoot back over a little bit now we're going to go back to the giant editor click on here and you're going to go make sure your sheep bit barn big is completely highlighted by the parent group this is the parent these are the children okay and so on. so you're going to make sure it's highlighted you're going to click over here in the attributes area if you don't have any of these windows click on window and you get attributes here user attributes here you're just going to keep coming back and get clicking on the one you want and so on. okay and it'll pop all these little boxes up you're going to click at the end of translate x you're going to hit shift control and c as in cat and it's going to grab these three numbers x y and z translate and you're going to go and click back over on to your notepad you were just on and then you're going to come back in here and you're going to find make sure you're on the sheet one go to the position one which is considered the translation one and you're going to scoot over with this till you get to the quotation marks you don't touch them right click on it and click paste you're going to click back on your giant editor you're going to click by the rotate x at the end of the numbers you're going to hit shift control and c is in cat you're going to click back on your notepad plus plus it's going to open up you look make sure it's a sheep barn big rotation you got your rotation already copied now you're going to highlight them in between the quotation marks right click and click paste now you're going to come up here and hit save now you're done now you're going to go back in here and just make sure you look at it everything's good you've saved it uh now what you want to do if you're just going to jump in to test it is you need to get your career start point okay you're going to slide up hit cl click on career start point and you're going to hit Control b as in boy left mouse click left mouse click to finalize it this blue arrow would be the way you're going to face so we want to turn it toward the building and we're going to pull it back a little all right so now we're going to save it again and we're going to go in game and check it okay and real quick and i'm going to keep this part pretty short uh, but i did it on the other video but you know i want to show you make sure that you get an understanding and, and somebody might not see that other video so i'm going to show you real quick you go under steam library steam apps common farm sim 22 data placeables Rudolph Horman, uh, find the sheep, barn big. All right, see all this information? Now go back to, you don't have to do any of this, uh, but I want to show you what it does. Um, we'll minimize this for a minute. Make it a little, hopefully make it easier. Let's pull this up. All right, you see all this information? We've got the navigation mesh, the sheep barn i3D. Both of them are i3Ds. This is an XML that tells it stuff to do, and then you got your images for your store, and etc. All right, if you click over on this, let me pull it up a little. See right here on this line, 
that we put in there says data, placeables, Rudolph Horman, sheep barn big, sheep barn big dot XML. If you click back up here where we went to, you got data, placeables, Rudolph Horman, sheep barn big, and then sheep barn big dot XML. So that means that that line right there, this right above my this here, right there, that is going to call this here. So that tells this to open this and do what it says. Right click on it, edit with Notepad++, and now I'm going to open it bigger. And as you can see, it has the store item, has the information, it has the pictures, images, whatever it needs. Uh, whatever you, whatever it needs, it has. Okay, the other images are actually in the other file folder. It doesn't show it, but it has it here. See it here, image. All right, and then it has the I3D of the sheep barn. If you keep going down, it's got all this information telling it what to do to the ground, what to do with the paint, everything. Uh, you know, you can see all the things it tells it. It says go to data, shared, assets, marker, marker icons, dot XML for the unload on the animals. It tells it to go to data shared assets marker marker icons dot xml for the animal stuff. It's it's telling it what to do with the doors to close them to open them all the stuff has all the information. Go here, get this i3d, get that i3d. It's saying go get that navigation i3d. It's telling it everything. It's it's got all these informations where to go. It's got this one. It wants you to go for the uh, fence stuff. It's got all this stuff, okay? Telling it everything to do. So we're going to close out of there. So on that, in that folder, if you see, it's got all that. It's got the I3D it told it to go get. It's got this I3D it told it to go get. It's got these images it told it to go get. And it's also got stuff in other places it told it to go get. So that has a lot of information, and that's what it's doing. Okay, that's how it works. I just wanted to share that so some of you can understand what's going on and why it does what it does. So we're going to go on in, hit play, and we're going to go check our sheep out, buy a few sheep, and then we're going to call it episode. But I hope everybody enjoys and learns something and can do, do their map, get busy making a map. All right, we're going to delete the 15 because we don't need it now because it was just a placeholder basically of getting that information. Now we're going to open the game in that one on our map. And it shouldn't take too long now, but I appreciate everybody. Go ahead and share the video if you like them. Help others get some information they may want. If you enjoy the channel, I appreciate it. And hopefully you get your map going and build it and make it nice. And hopefully some of these videos help. Alrighty, let's get on in there. And there we go. Because I put that career start point, now we're right here. As you can see, it set it all up. It's got the fence. It's got the grass. It's got everything ready to go. Watch what happens when we come here. It's got all the icons. It showed those icons. It told them what to do. It tells the health, the animals, the food. And then look at here. It says the animal dialogue. So you can hit R. Look at there. So now you click on it. You pick your animal. Click, click on select. Pick how many you want. We'll do four. We'll go on down. We're going to hit buy, okay, we're going to go on to another one, we'll do four of them, buy, alright, we're going to do the brown one, select, buy, do four of them, and we'll get this one, and buy all them, alright, we're going to get out of here, we're going to go look at our sheep, and look at here, my goodness, look at all them sheep, whiny little babies, Alrighty, as you can see, it worked. Back on up, and there you go. So all you got to do is get the stuff you need to tend to the sheep, and then they're all set. But we're not going to be playing the game right now, so we're just getting it working for our map. But I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you. And as you can see, it all works. And if there's any doors, which I don't even know if there is on this one, yeah, the doors will work, as you can see, because you did your work. See? And then they got this here. 
but there you go that's how you do it you can buy your stuff if any of this don't work then you'll know that you didn't get that xml called right something's wrong in that xml but there you go i'm gonna call that an episode i hope you enjoyed please hit that like button subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time i post a video goodbye everybody